Christian Outreach Centre is like a family that grew up. It's good when a family's small and nice and cosy, but after a while, a family grows up and that's good. It takes on differing names and different uh, cultures as a family grows. Once upon a time in Christian Outreach Centre, we, we sung all the same songs, had all the same style of meetings, but it's not so today. Because so many leaders have been raised up, we have different styles and different cultures, but still the same values of what we originally had. But today, these are new days. And we really believe that it's time that our movement had a name that reflected who we are today. We're about to enter our 40th year as a movement of churches. And as you know, in the Bible, the number 40 represents quite a significant moment. Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness for 40 days. He left the wilderness in the power of the Spirit on the 40th day. And Israel wandered the wilderness for 40 years until they moved into the promised land. I kind of feel like for us as a movement that our journey over the past few years, like Israel, we've lost our confidence. We've probably lost our way a little bit. And I, I really believe that this is a season where God is leading us into a brand new era, a brand new land. And like Israel, we get the opportunity to rewrite uh, our, our future. We get the opportunity to really discover who we are. We've come this far, what does it take to take us to the next level? And I think out of the discussion of how do we move forward, how do we get stronger, one of the great ways we thought of doing that was to start a fresh, a brand new name and let's move from there. We've all heard of Batman and Robin. Batman is the main character, while Robin is the big support and backup person. We believe that our local churches and pastors and leaders are like Batman. And our movement is like Robin. Our movement is committed to helping local churches succeed in everything they're called to do. What we've had to do to find out where we want to go, we've really had to dig deep into our, our core belief structure of who we are as a movement. What do we value? What are our priorities? What's the, 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 you know, the bare bones DNA of our movement? Unpack that out and then reconstruct it to be the movement that we see is the movement for the nation of Australia and beyond. As a family of churches, our international influence begins at home and with a common vision, we unite in strategic partnership and in that partnership we have the privilege of resourcing one another, networking together and really being helpful to one another to achieve that common vision. I'm so excited because I know we are born for more. Our scope of operation flows from our families to our workplace, to our city, our nation and often further to other nations. We have international influence that begins at home. This is not a group of guys that have sat around in a, in a room somewhere on the Gold Coast and come up with a good idea. This has been a process over 18 months that we have prayed through, that we have walked through and that we've treated with, with the utmost sincerity, the utmost seriousness. 
And we as the leadership of the movement, the National Executive, are putting this forward, believing that the Holy Spirit is wrapped all over it. I really love it. I think it's a fantastic name. To reach our potential, we need each other. We need partnership. We need unity. America is a place with very different, different cultures. I think international network churches provoke a much stronger identity for all churches. I'm excited to be a part of this movement. We plant strong and we build influential churches. Through the love and the power of Jesus Christ, we offer hope and we give a purpose to the local community. We believe it's part of our responsibility as local churches to partner with the local authorities of the towns and cities in which we're represented. And we want to train and equip and empower our people to live effectively and positively to impact their society. Our churches believe in successional process. We believe in raising and training leaders, not only for tomorrow, but also for today. There is a rising generation of men and women in our churches with gifts and talents that are just itching to have a go. Our leadership and our ability as a network of churches sees that opportunity and gives them that chance in this generation, in this time. Center. We've had an amazing past with some phenomenal heritage, but what separates us is that we are visionaries. And as the prophet Haggai once declared, the future glory of the temple is so much greater than the past. And as INC, we are moving into this amazing future ahead of us. What world will we leave for generations that are to come? Young people love to connect, and our churches are gatherings of individuals who love to connect network and live passionately for a worthwhile cause. Our nation is ready for change. We're passionate about seeing young people's lives transformed by Jesus and we believe being a part of an international network of churches means we can do so much more. The international network of churches simply is us saying to the people out there, you can know straight up we're a church. You can know straight up that we're more than just about one small area, we're international. We've always been known as a movement who are bold, we were action orientated, and we were dependable. And there are three words that we want to carry into our future. I am so grateful for our past, but I am so excited about the future of International Network of Churches because here's the facts, we were born for more.